What's going on, you guys? Uh, today, uh, it's cold out. It's cold out, and I would do a cold start, but it's too cold. As you can see, there's some snow on the ground. Uh, I would start it, but I took the battery out on the Chevy line too. Um, this here, I got me another emblem. Uh, I have another emblem in here that I bought off of eBay because these ones I bought an, I bought one because the one on here is missing and somebody before the, or the previous owner I guess these had fell, fallen off and that's what they put in on there is one of those um, rubber grommets that you put for on a wall where there's no stud and that kind of pissed me off because they didn't do it right and this one is just as bad so this summer or sometime this week I'm gonna do a video on taking this fender off and possibly the hood yeah we'll probably just take the hood off we'll probably do it in the summertime when uh, it gets warmer and uh, also this summer we ha I actually plan on uh, fixing the rust on this thing I'm getting that and getting the rust problem taken care of and uh, that's why I haven't been doing videos lately because on the C10 or the F100 is because it's cold out and you really can't do anything when it's freezing out here and the reason why that's off of there because in case you're wondering is because um, I uh, gonna change the locks on this thing because I have another parts truck that I'm gonna take the parts off, take the door locks off of. Sorry, I'm talking too fast. And possibly this summer we're also gonna do the power steering and the steering, the steering, the steering column swap on this. Um, and then I bought new tail, I bought new slash used tail lights off of a similar, off of the same truck as as mine, but it was blue, and they junked it and it had. Uh, a straight six in it, which I was kind of pissed off. Nothing was left on it except for the the seat, and they took the doors, the glove box. I think they took the glove box. The transmission was still there, and the uh, pedals assembly was still there. They took the gauges and the cover, and they didn't. They took the. I think they took the heater, and they took, and they left the radio, which was kind of weird. And they took the striker bolts, that's what I went there for. To see if they had parts so I can get the striker bolts, but... Excuse me, I ended up buying them off eBay. Anyway, so... That's all, that's all that we're doing today. It's just that. I just thought I'd show you... Why we haven't been doing videos on the C10 or the C20. Um, so yeah. I'm going to put those other ones on there. And then when I go to car shows, I'll put these on here. Because I'm going to tint them. And, uh, oh yeah, maybe this summer. Well, if we have time this summer, we can put that receiver hitch back here and see if it fits. And, uh, probably repaint that. And then uh, this summer I plan on fixing the rust. And then the rust that's right here fix that and prevent it from rusting again um they don't they don't sell these this part on, on the internet because you have to buy the whole this whole wheel well and i don't want to buy a whole wheel well just for this part so i'm gonna buy me a hammer and dolly uh off of uh harbor freight and then we can get on to that and then fix whatever rust we need to fix. I would get down and show you where the rust is, but it's freezing. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for more videos on the C10. No, it hasn't gone away. Still here. And uh, I'm looking for these clear amber turn signal lights. If you know, I can get some for cheap. And then you know how the 80 trucks they have that. Uh, that key guard the key scratch guard for the lock 
I like to snag some of those up if I can find some. I can't find any on eBay. Or I don't know the, the correct name to find them on eBay. So that's what we're going to do. And then probably paint at the front end as well. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, hit the bell for notifications.